Alright guys, in this video I'm planning on making a drinks carrier to help me carry around my favourite drinks here. Now, I first tried this when I was in the hospital and I'd had about two weeks of not being able to eat or drink at all so my first taste of this was, as you can imagine, that refreshing to try. But, I have a big stash of them and to carry them around the place is very awkward and I saw the Drunken Woodworkers video making the beer tote so I thought that's perfect, even though this is a soft drink, still a glass bottle, so make a carrier to carry it round. So let's see how I made it. I started off with some rough sewn pieces of ash, and with my brand new thickness planer, I smoothed that off. That looks a lot smoother now. When I came to join the edges together, there was quite a large gap, so I used the jointer on the top of my thickness planer to clean that up. They seemed to fit together right after using the jointer, so I went ahead and started gluing up the boards. I told you I like Zio. <laughs> Next I had to cross cut the pieces to the correct length and then I ripped them to the correct width. I measured up from the bottom and then again in from the top and joined the dots together to create a tapered side for the taller panel pieces. And I cut those out on the bandsaw. As you can tell, my blade wanders a bit. I made a design for the shorter sides, incorporating the ZO logo and also a mountain range to represent the refreshing taste of the drink. And I used the bandsaw again to cut those pieces out. It's just applied with self-adhesive paper. I then used the mini craft tool to carve out the ZO logo. and I just made sure that the whole piece inside where I'd marked out was below the level of the rest of the wood so I could sand it flush later. And that's what it looks like when it was finished. I chose to use a two part epoxy putty. I've used this previously in other projects and I just filled that in to all the gaps that I'd previously created and I left that overnight to set solid. Started sanding it the next morning. You would think it'd take a long while but it actually only took 1 minute 48 seconds. Well that was the length of the recording anyway and as you can see it looks really nice contrast between the wood flush. I made a stop groove so you wouldn't see it while it was constructed together but it's to receive a 5mm plywood base. I use the biscuit jointer to connect the shorter sides to the taller sides. And that's what it will look like going together. I used a piece of curtain rod with some dowels on and spray painted that black. And I also stained the pieces using some teak stain. Now, I always panic with glue ups to be honest with you, but using the biscuits and the dowels in the handle made it a lot quicker and easier. I decided to use 5mm plywood again, but this time for the dividers. These are to help the bottle stop rattling around while you're carrying it. And I'm just using the bandsaw to create the grooves. You could use the table saw and the sled system but my sled at the moment isn't very useful so I've decided to use the bandsaw for this one and it seemed to work out okay. And that's what it's like when it's finished. I also decided to paint that jet black to match with the handle and it gives a nice contrast. And then it's just a case of giving it one coat of polyurethane, let it dry, give it a sand and then add another couple of coats. And that's what it's like when it's finished. I hope you like it. 
So that's it. That's my six pack carrier for ZL drink. Now, I messaged ZL first of all, really, to get the permission to use their logo on the side of the actual carrier itself. And they was very kind in letting me use their logo and making this video. But even more kindly, they sent me some more ZL to try. Because to be honest, I'd only ever tried the Zest version. So they sent me a load of drinks to try all the different flavours. So as you can imagine, and as you saw while I was gluing up, I was running low, so my supplies had been restocked. They was also really kind to send me some Zio sunglasses. They sent me about 25 pairs of them. To be honest, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do with 25 pairs, so I think I'll hang on until the weather picks up again as we're in the middle of winter, and I'll do some kind of giveaway for all of you. And like I say, a big thanks again to Zio. Like I said on the intro, this drinks carrier was inspired by the drunken woodworkers beer tote build. So you can go and check out his video. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that. I'm actually going to be sending this six pack carrier out to Zio. So it's been kind of, they've sent me some drinks unexpectedly. So as, my, as a thank you from me, I'm going to send that to them and I hope that they like it. So thanks again for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment asking any questions or your feedback, it's all much appreciated. And especially if you can share the video and even subscribe to my channel. I've got a few other project videos already done and I've got plenty planned in my mind to get done for the future. Thanks again for watching.